There are a few videos out there already discussing features and use. You can search YouTube under keyword Fast Strike. This review, however, aims to cover new material not yet discussed or published as of July 26, 2019. Let me know what you think. Like the video and please leave some comments. So basically what I want to first start out with is, is showing you uh, some more closer details. Here's that solid steel tip. It's pretty uh, solid. I did try to hit some items with it and you know to no impact or to no uh, detriment. Uh, looks like this part is the handle. Obviously you can see reversible clips here on both sides. Blade down or tip up etc. There's room on the back for Coubertin like striking. Um, just to show you here with my spider core salt full size uh, some size comparisons considerably considerable more reach even with maybe a 8 inch 10 inch 6 inch blade you got some reach there um, <clears throat> so the new feature on this gen 2 model is that you can insert this in this hole here and uh, what I'd like to show you is that here's a, an impact weapon that that you we haven't discussed yet it's pretty solid you might feel a little impact on your on the inside of your finger um, but you know if you go for vital targets softer targets you know here's from the negotiation stance um, if you need to preemptively strike I'd go for the, the vital targets uh, nose throat etc here I'm just trying to show some strikes uh, you know if you like to punch um, your knuckles will be protected and it's pretty solid um, you can also combine it with the Akubaton like hammer fist Again here just showing some potential moves. Remember this is dynamic, your, your front hand, if you trap, if you know how to bridge the gap, you're getting close. Uh, some more concealment options here for you know, preemptive striking. <clears throat> uh, sometimes you have to do that and again, follow your local laws, understand what this means for a post-contact situation. Uh, that's how you deploy it. It's recommended just pop that thing out. I haven't figured out yet, do it with one hand, but pop it out. Now here I wanna demonstrate Here's like your gross motor strike. Okay, this when they say it takes little skill or no skill at all, it's intuitive. You just take this thing and you just start whacking it. Okay, whether you're trained or not, woman, male, female. Uh, <clears throat> okay, now I'm showing a more a more precise measure. If you can flick this thing and hope to get contact with the tip only, um, it's going to require a little. A lot more accuracy. Maybe you 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 practice on a tennis ball, a piece of paper with targets, but you want to get to know the <clears throat> the distancing with the exact distance and feel <clears throat> with the uh, the tip. So now you're you're basically flicking this. Obviously, you'd be flicking it at the face, or you know if your opponent is covering up, you know the assailant is covering up with his hands. You're 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 hitting his hands, uh, kind of like defanging a snake, trying to damage the hands, whether they're carrying weapons or not. So you can take a gross motor approach where the cable might hit, the point may or may not hit, or you can try to flick this out. Now, people say that, you know, flicking what's what, it's just going to piss off your assailant, but you know, it's, so can your fingertips, so can wimpy jabs, anything can piss off your assailant. This is, if you want to use this long range, you've got footwork, you've got to use footwork if you want to use it for a long range weapon, <clears throat> and you got the extra reach, and you'll be flicking this around, don't get it grabbed. Use your trapping, use your blocking, etc. Um, what I'm trying to show here is uh, for carry purposes, uh, this is your, everybody knows that's what it's for, but I did test this on regular dress pants and you can fully conceal it. It doesn't print, looks like, well, if it prints, it looks like a round wallet for those of you that understand printing. Um, and here, what I'm trying to do is to show you here is a combination with other weapons. You know, this is whether this is a legally sound, etc., but I'm just trying to show some ideas of how it can be combined as a long range, less lethal weapon. Okay, you're flicking this, it's like a jab. Um, you're, you're causing interference, you may be damaging, especially if you hit the eye. So pretty much that's it, that's all. I'm gonna to try to talk a little bit more about um, some thoughts, closing thoughts. One other thing I forgot to mention was you can use this as a choking implement. Okay, so if you can get this part lined up on the carotid artery or anywhere such, uh, it could also be a non-lethal, uh, you know, choke for those of you that are familiar. So if you're in a situation where you can, you know, get this around, whether you're on the ground, whether you're standing, or even, boom, you know, getting it around, 
and holding it. Okay, guys, your your attacker, the bad guy, is flailing, whatever, and you're covering up. You know, you're covering up maybe. Um, then uh, you know you affect that the choke. Okay, so don't forget that. Or boom, boom. You know, there's that too. Boom. So in closing thoughts, would I carry this? Yes, I would carry it. I'm going to carry it. Um, number one, because, well, let me just say, if you go to the Facebook page of the manufacturer of Fast Strike, you will see that they are now selling and shipping overseas. So what that means to me is that this country is uh, allowing this to be exported, and those other countries outside the United States, typically that har harsher laws, um, <clears throat> are being allowed to import it. Um, they also make made a note that on, on Amazon they were no longer being allowed to sell this. Well, I just went in to Amazon as a thing, and they are selling it. Somebody else is selling it, so I don't know if Amazon caught it. It's a mistake, etc. But, you know, we all know that if Amazon allows you to sell it, then it must be okay. But <clears throat> why would I carry it? Well, I think really because, you know, it makes a, a great back scratcher. So anyway, fast strike back, back scratcher. The flies and the bugs too. Okay. Harmless weapon. Absolutely harmless. You know, it's just gonna scare people away, uh, you know, potentially or tick them off in which case, you know, you're in trouble. So anyway, yes, I would carry it for the reasons and the applications that I demonstrated. So thank you again. Uh, that's it, that's all, and uh, like this video. Give me some comments, challenge my thought process. Ciao.